In my project, I'm interested in looking at the adsorption of oxygen and the adsorption plus oxidation of carbon monoxide on nanoporous gold surfaces with and without the presence of water. Now, when it comes to the adsorption of carbon monoxide, it is a common prototypical reaction in heterogeneous catalysis, while the adsorption of oxygen is also regularly considered. Previous ab initio molecular dynamic studies done by Young et al. has shown that adsorbed seria atop of gold triple one releases oxygen atoms to carbon monoxide to form carbon dioxide in a Morris von Krevelin type of mechanism, and this leads to the gold triple one surface restructuring. Furthermore, prior work on stepped nanoporous gold surfaces has shown that oxygen atoms adsorbed on it self-organizes into quasi-ordered gold, oxygen, gold, oxygen chains. As such, in my project, we will focus on studying the adsorption of oxygen atoms and CO on stepped gold surfaces with and without the presence of water. I'll be using AIMD simulations and DFT computations for this work. The project will focus on the self-organization of oxygen atoms on these surfaces, then the later bond formation with CO to form CO2 and desorption of these CO2 molecules. I will look at how this mechanism unfolds and if additional CO molecules will more likely adsorb into the now vacant sites left over by oxygen atoms. The lattice constant of bulk gold was computed as 4.17 angstrom, but I can improve it further to 4.12 angstrom if I use D3 empirical dispersion corrections. As a comparison, the literature value is 4.08 angstrom. This lattice constant was used to construct five layered gold triple one five by five surfaces, but more so to look at the CO adsorption on the structure. This structure can be seen in figure three. I ended up getting an adsorption energy for CO of negative 0.43 electron volts, pretty close to Young's value of negative 0.42 electron volts. I wanted to originally look also at the AIMD simulation of gold triple one and two oxygen atoms, but I got undesirable results and instead decided to head on over to gold 221. Here I used K points of 2 by 2 by 1 to optimize the structure, where afterwards I placed 8 oxygen atoms on the top surface at random positions. This optimized structure can be found in figure 4. At the moment I'm busy looking at the AIMD simulation of this structure to see if the oxygen atoms might self-organize. The heating is fluctuating around 600 Kelvin now, with me targeting a temperature of 800 Kelvin. This is to help the other parts of the AIMD simulation to finish faster. In terms of the computational details of this project, I used CP2K, which is an open source MD and DFT computation package. CP2K has both CPU and GPU accelerated versions. The other details are provided on the poster. Thank you for attending my micro talk and thank you to the CHPC for the computational resources.